part 20 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. It is time to place street lamps. A lot of street lamps. I cannot stand the dark Christmas villages and even with all the room lights turned off, a village must shine with its proper light. Then I will start composing the micro scenes that will help animate all the blocks or a neighborhood, if you prefer, of the village. Sadly for me, but luckily for you, this series is about to end. And not today. And the street lamps will be. If I'm remembering correctly, around a month ago I've introduced you this argument. And I've also told you that this year I would have radically changed my street lamps, creating a new model, and that it would have been a very time-consuming task that needed to be uh, done in parallel uh, while I was doing some other task. The result. The result is down there. All these uh, street lamps there. And uh, they are around 40 to 45 units need to be placed uh, on this ear layout. Uh, previously, previously my street uh, lamps have this aspect I've already shown you, starting from uh, washer, three washers, an aluminium pipe having 0 0.8 centimeters of diameter, a plastic straw. Um, a terminal for wiring cables, an LED, plain white uh, bright LED uh, connected with some electrical wires down there. This here I've started from this little street lamp here, completely plastic street lamp, very short so I needed to modify it radically and insert some kind of LED inside. So I've cut it uh, in two different parts around there, 3.5 centimeters from the top of the base of the street lamp and I've modified them in order to get this street lamp here having the same washers as a support than the base that I've inserted in, uh, inside this aluminium uh, pipe, the same aluminium pipe you have just seen, uh, and the top inserted uh, here. But previously I've removed the top of the plastic um, uh, lamp, and inserted my uh, LED with uh, two or wire there that I've um, made. Uh, I just uh, took uh, an LED and I've uh, soldered it to those two um, cables there in order to get a taller street lamp. Here they are compared the one to another, much taller street uh, lamps. And uh, this is how I made them, this is the new model, and uh, I just need to place uh, all the street lamp where they belong. And uh, by the way, I marked uh, all the styrofoam, I, took, uh, just, I simply took uh, one uh, washer and marked every place where I need each uh, street lamp to be positioned. Here we go, one there a couple more here and there and so on with all the uh, levels and then I need to connect them to the wiring and by the way yesterday I've uh, uh, uploaded the, the review concerning Claire's uh, confectionery so from now on all the buildings are in place 
uh, and this one was the last one, the surprise that needed to be added. I placed it there. Now, uh, I need to start uh, um, placing the street lamps. So let me just remove all these mass of street lamps from there and uh, let me start. I will start uh, with the uh, first level, the ground level there. I will start uh, from this level, then I will go up. Let's put some music and uh, let, uh, let's uh, start the task. I would say we were good together connect all my street lamps to the main power wire, the main power cables. I've digged, I've fixed the wires, 
with my uh, metal pins then I've covered everything with uh, this new brand of paper tape I needed a new brand simply because the previous one and here you have an example isn't enough sticky and it tends to easily detach from the main surface this new brand is way more uh, sticky, stickier, but uh, it is also more yellowish. You have also uh, noticed that the new tip uh, for the soldering gun is uh, making uh, much more uh, wider grooves and much deeper grooves, and it is way less uh, precise when I go straight, but uh, the new tip uh, um, is uh, getting hotter uh, very fast and it prevents the soldering gun to be too long or switched on and that was the reason why the previous soldering gun just uh, burned out. And if you are worried that this is too yellow, this is too awful to watch, uh, just remember that everything, every surface will be covered by snow uh, at the end and previously I will add those kind of uh, streets of roads, cobblestone roads, cobblestone streets that I've printed on some uh, thick uh, paper. So uh, I will place uh, uh, the streets like that and that will be fixed and then I will cover everything with snow obviously not everywhere I will have streets just where I need them to be and after that all will be covered by snow or will be hidden under snow this is the process I will do for the next uh, I think three to four hours uh, I don't think it is useful to you to see everything and the process is the same I just need to dig and hide the cables following the previous uh, routes if it is possible and it is very tedious to see I know so let me just have it done and then I will have a full recap uh, for you I will also show you the difference between uh, having the street lamps and not having the street lamps when the lights are turned off. Just one thing I forget to mention before for the street lamps, each 10 street lamps demand, demand 3 hours of work, starting from uh, raw materials up to the painting. Uh, and two layers of painting, two layers of black painting so 10 uh, street lamps, 3 hours of work I have more than 40 uh, street lamps so I'll let you do the calculation very easily done finally it took me a little more than 5 hours to place all the street lamps connect them to the uh, power uh, um, cables and then hide the cables, the wires and uh, finally regroup all the cables and uh, connect them to the AC adapters uh, I've made 45 street lamps and this little one there, this little crooked one because it is crooked I don't know if you can uh, see it but it is crooked to the right and so I have a total of 44 street lamps placed in order to bring light to everything I was a little worried about uh, uh, the uh, river about the central um, part of the uh, layout there and I thought I would have problems because it would have been completely dark and if I switch the, off the light, if I turn off the light, it would have been completely uh, dark. So I decided to place uh, some street lamps along the border, right there. And this side too, I placed uh, some street lamps there along the, um, the borders 
in order to have the light projecting also to the center of the layout and in the far um, back there I just place uh, the uh, single street lamp in the middle uh, in order to have uh, some lights uh, uh, projecting uh, down where I have the curve on the uh, river. I'm just talking blah 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 but uh, the result. Let me just uh, uh, turn off the light for a second, sorry. I know it is uh, very dark and you can't see practically anything just uh, the lights from the single uh, buildings I have around and in the background too uh, the brightest lights are those from the mini shops like the candy shop uh, down uh, there but if I switch on all the street lamps like uh, this it's completely different now I have all the street lamps switched on and you can appreciate that everything is not perfectly uh, illuminated is not perfectly cleared but I can see everything even in the plain uh, dark every little corner of the layout uh, will be uh, illuminated by the street uh, lamps and also in the middle there I have no lamps at all in the middle but I don't know if the camera gets it with this camera at least with the um, action camera but I have also some light projecting in the middle of the layout the river is illuminated even in plain uh, dark and uh, this is uh, the result obviously now I've connected um, all the uh, cables from the street lamps to the same uh, socket in order to switch them on um, together um, and uh, let me just uh, go around for another tour then I will try to explain what I did in details. Here we are, here from the uh, lake, and here I have uh, the light there. I still miss some stairs there and there, but everything is illuminated. And uh, the far level 2, and uh, that little, sorry, that little uh, street lamp in the middle is projecting lights towards uh, the, uh, the river and you can see now that it is not completely dark and it will also project some lights towards the uh, waterfall so this is how I did everything I don't want to let you in the dark for all these final sequences, so I will probably switch on, uh, switch back on, on the light in just some seconds down there, and up to Santa also is uh, cleared by uh, street lamps. So this is the result after five hours of work, and now let me. Uh, just uh, switch back on the light so here I am again uh, nothing special I've done uh, all the cables uh, have been either under the um, paper tape uh, everywhere here too this is the uh, longest one because I started from um, uh, I've started from uh, that street lamp there sorry I started from this one then I'm gone towards in the middle of those two street lamps 
then I've connected this one, then I've continued turning around, then I've connected this one, and then I've uh, reached down there with the cable, and I've used the same um, hole to, that I've used uh, uh, precedently to hide the uh, building cables. And uh, by the way, I've also replaced the, the, oops, I still have a pin there, I've also replaced the, the uh, rock paper around the perimeter of the railroad because everything is now in any place. I still need some solution there, but I will do it. And there. I've also redid all the um, um, paper tape here because <laughs> this one is uh, very, very sticky. So this was uh, the trickiest one and the longest one. I've started from uh, down there, from the street lamp near the uh, bridge, then I've continued here, there. I've connected this one, then I've connected this one too. Oops, uh, three. And uh, I'm going also this way up there to connect this one. Then I've come back to the same route there and I've uh, ended uh, with this uh, one and <laughs> in the meantime I forgot to uh, connect this uh, one there so this one is uh, uh, single connected to the AC adapter all alone yeah. I make errors, I ma I've made errors and I will continue do doing errors in the future uh, also, the street lamp in the middle uh, down there is connected lonely to uh, the AC adapter. Uh, same thing from the other side. Uh, then, uh, same thing here. Then I will talk about the fences. Uh, same thing here. I've used the same technique. I've started with uh, this uh, street lamp there then I connect uh, all the other in some sort of uh, star and I've uh, mm, connected the cable then I also placed uh, this uh, paper rock uh, this rock paper there all along the perimeter and here then I've also added the, the uh, other side of the perimeter with the same uh, rock paper same thing for the uh, middle uh, level there and for everything else same technique I've used uh, before uh, here too same technique I've started from that uh, street lamp there then I've connected everything and I've used uh, the <laughs> the same um, digging I've used uh, precedently to hide the cables and I've uh, come out there and then under here with the, the blue and the green uh, cables wires are from the uh, street uh, lamps same thing for uh, Santa level for uh, street lamps connected one one two, three, and four street lamps connected the same way. Here I was, uh, I um, choose to be, to go differently. I've connected the first one, then the second one, then I'm, I go, uh, I, I went uh, back uh, to come here, connect this one, then connect the last one, finally bringing the cable under the building, under the uh, Santa's house, and back uh, there and uh, connecting them under the uh, plywood and uh, this is all I made concerning the uh, street uh, lamps let's talk for a minute about the fences here generally I already told you that uh, I prefer to use this kind of fences already made and uh, very very useful fences but in in this case where the fences is too uh, wide too large or uh, placing uh, um, 
many of them would have caused to go over the, um, the border here, I generally decided to make myself the fences. And just look uh, the difference between them. I practically do the same eighth and the same uh, structure, almost the same uh, design. I've used uh, only uh, skewers that I've uh, glued to them together, trying to go perfectly uh, horizontal. I'm not I've not made them right there in position, but I've uh, made them uh, on a, a flat surface and then I've connected them, I've um, inserted them there, then glued them to the uh, styrofoam uh, after um, making some holes in correspondence of uh, each uh, pillar there. Practically uh, uh, not a perfect solution, but uh, an alternative solution uh, if you don't want, as I do, to cut the uh, plastic uh, wires uh, the plastic fences, sorry, in order to get uh, the uh, right uh, dimension, the right length for everything you need to do. So this is the result. And uh, here you go. Uh, let just, just me. Here you have the result uh, with the, these uh, handmade fences there because I didn't want uh, people getting there and ah! boom and fall down there and uh, so I made uh, these little uh, fences there it took me um, 45 minutes to make all of them and to uh, do them then I've painted uh, the, them quickly uh, 10 minutes max to paint them all there and this is uh, all I think concerning the the street lamps. Now it's time to talk. Finally, maybe I don't know if I will have enough time to do a complete uh, micro scene, but it's time to talk about the micro scenes. Uh, I will need for the micro scenes to place all these figurines there. All these figurines <laughs> will need to be placed on the layout. I still have some of them in boxes or uh, confection there because I didn't have enough space there and the uh, parade is very very delicate so I will bring them out at the last moment and I placed here in the front row there uh, figurines that I haven't uh, um, used precedently uh, or that they are from 2020 collection those one are from 2020 collection this one no obviously uh, this is from 2020 collection these two and look how beautiful is uh, these uh, figurines with uh, mother and daughter going shopping absolutely wonderful and uh, colorful oh, yes very detailed and this is from 2020 collection also this lady here is from 2020 uh, collection there also be very beautiful and uh, you have the um, fish sellers there it is new uh, the couple kissing after marrying <laughs> two these two go uh, together uh, the little uh, boy is stealing some bread and uh, um, the owner of the bakery chasing him and so on um, I think this couple too is from 2020 yes this two couple too is from 2020 uh, collection uh, some are big, some do, this one and this one are from last year. I didn't have time to place uh, them, so I would use them uh, this year. Uh, some more, um, yes, I have this one that is uh, from 2020 collection, as you can see there. 2020 LMAX, yes, and uh, those are, um, I think they are. Um, 
fabric vendors, fabric sellers, yes, fabric and notions, yes, they are fabric sellers, very detailed, very precise, and uh, okay. this is from 2020. Collection, this one too, I think, yes, this one too is from 2020 uh, collection, and the carolers, the family carolers, and carolers are always appreciated, and um, this one, no, it's not, a, but it's a classic, but it's very rare item, at least here in Italy, very rare. I know that uh, this year Lemax uh, put it on the market a new uh, parade, a new, but I haven't found it yet. And uh, this is all. <laughs> if you are wondering what is the oldest uh, item there, it's this one. This one is from 2002 uh, collection, and this is Caddington collection, it is the, from 2002. Uh, okay, um, some, uh, some little uh, chairs there that I need to place. Obviously this will be a long process to put everything in the right position, I will surely not be able to uh, do a complete uh, uh, micro scene right now because uh, this video is at least uh, 20 minutes long right now, but I'm not sure. Uh, and the creating micro scene is a, a long process. I will surely start uh, placing uh, some figurines here and there and then uh, um, I will try to uh, continue with the next video, surely, but uh, this is how it is uh, right uh, now. Uh, let me just uh, see what I can show you quickly concerning the process of uh, uh, creating some uh, micro scene and obviously the none there will change place. I use the it, I use uh, sorry for reference uh, while I was uh, building everything um, in order to see if the uh, arc there was the right eighth, but now I will place it and yes, and I will uh, place uh, 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 somewhere else. Um, yes, uh, let's go. How I proceed with the micro scenes? I proceed by selecting some uh, figurines. Like in this example, I have the couple here, the boy uh, running and uh, the market uh, owner chasing him and because he stole some uh, bread and an apple there. <coughs> so, uh, I proceed. Uh, do I have a grocery, a store, a market on my layout? Yes, I have it right there. Right there, I have it. And look just at the bread there. The same exact bread that the boy has in his hands. Let me just show you. Oops. Here we go. The same exact type of bread. French baguette. And so let me just place the the boy there starting to run and let me just bring the shop owner there trying to get it. so here we go with this this will surely not be the final position of the both the figurines but at least I'm starting from there. And the building is already taking a life. And this corner there is already taking life, coming to life. I will surely need to um, replace them uh, once I've added some other figurines there. So this is how I start. 
let me just uh, pick another uh, figurine. For example, mm, let me see. For example, for example, for example, there, the station chief, the train station chief. Obviously, I have a, tr a station, I have a train, I have a station, so I will try to find a place near the station. Here we have the station, this junction station. I will try to place it somewhere like that or there, waiting for the train to arrive. Maybe there. I don't know yet, but near the station. I will start placing them there, near the station. I also need some wood fences all along the railroad from both sides and I will add them lately. This is the process, it's a long, slow process, I know, but it's the only way. Try to place every figurines like it was a chess play and then move them around to try to find the correct place, the correct harmony for everything. Let me just bring to the scene another figurine. Another figurine, yes. This is classic. The boys going to school or getting home from school. I have those one, those little kids there. I will surely need to place them near the school. Where is the school? The school is on a certain level, right there. There I have elementary school right there. I will need to place them right there, oops, and right there. Uh, I will move them uh, lately, but at least I will find some place for everything and then I will move them around. And so on with the same uh, process. Um, here I have uh, some residential, yes, so let me just bring something else. Let me just bring some accessory in front of the residence there. Oops, yes, those three there. For example, let me just... Uh, for example, let me just add this there to see if uh, it sweet sweet there. Yes, for example, there. Then I will probably move them. I need some fences or some walls around uh, the house because uh, right now uh, it's not a private property. Uh, it's a residential building, so I need uh, to have uh, some uh, walls or some uh, fences all along uh, the residential. Uh, this will be the only difference between uh, uh, normal buildings as shops, uh, mm, restaurants and everything else, and uh, residential buildings. This one, I have uh, both, uh, uh, I have two of them uh, in, separated by the carolers, by the family carolers, right there. I have the East View Inn, and then I have uh, Santa B Santa houses, but it is already um, isolated. Then I will have uh, this one. This one will need to have big uh, fences or big walls all around. I generally proceed this way. Uh, I give some privacy to the residential uh, buildings. Uh, so this one is here, maybe I will add uh, a tree there, some tree there, etc, etc. Impossible right now to show you a complete a micro scene. Um, I know where the micro scenes will be. This one will be a micro scene, this one will be another micro scene. Here I have already have a micro scene with the boy 
uh, getting the uh, wrapped uh, packet uh, with inside some Christmas ornaments. I will have to add some micro scene for the pub. Those are the micro scenes. But what to place correctly and how to place correctly, it is a, a process that need uh, time to be completed. The main priority is to place every single figurine in the zone, around the zone where it should be. Then I will add everything else. Um, I can't place right now all these figurines because it will take a week at least. Yes, I think a week to place them correctly. Uh, the reindeers will go in some kind of forest that is not yet present or maybe where Santa uh, house is and etc etc. Uh, books, free books, take a book, leave a book, uh, maybe near the school etc. The potatoes, uh, yes, this one is or getting towards the market or getting, uh, or getting away from the market. Let me just, uh, let me just put it right there. It just both thought something on the market and now is going somewhere else. Let me just have it there. Uh, once more, what should I pick? Uh, and this one, I put this one because it is similar to this little fountain there. Red and blue bird and a fountain. Uh, I will surely not place it there because two fountains is uh, too much, but I have another fountain if needed. Uh, what should I place right now? I don't know, I don't know. Um, too much to place right now, and yes, the I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I I'm f figuring out uh, everything and trying to visualize every scene. Maybe the lady pumping. Yes, maybe this one will get there with no problems, or maybe from this side. Let me just see what I have from the distance. Uh, not quite sure there. Maybe moving it a little bit. Mm. No, I am not convinced right now because uh, I don't want the view to be um, damaged or ruined by the lady pumping uh, some uh, water. Um, what I can place? Pam uh, pam 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 pam. Yes, this one. Obviously, this one is uh, a little helper, a little Santa helper. So, th this one and another one will surely be in the zone of the. Uh, Santa uh, family right there and I have another one I have another one this one this one is also with a big uh, bear there and this one too needs to be placed around there around Santa uh, house okay then I will move them around and yes uh, okay so uh, you have understood uh, uh, the process in uh, placing all the figurines I need to go slowly uh, and think along about it because it's uh, very important to place them uh, correctly I will uh, surely um, go with figurines all along this week, then I hope to have uh, um, not a full update, but at least an update by next uh, video. 
by uh, part 21. Um, you have noticed also the changing of scenario. I don't have any more my uh, styrofoam cutting machine there, but I have all the figurines. And they will be uh, there from now until the little plywood is completely empty. Don't worry, I will have enough space for everything. And just remember, I also need to place a lot of trees. Let me just edit some of this footage, then I will do my usual outro. Thank you. Placing and connecting the street lamps was the last very long task still open. Now it all depends on the creation of the micro scenes. A long task too, I am aware of that, but it is the funniest one. When you reach this stage in building your Christmas village, you have to keep in mind three words. Forsyth, creativity and madness. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.